Science never ends, welcome to the series of videos about Nobel Prize winners, a group of interesting and inspiring scientists. Do you remember Andre Geim from our previous video, who won the Ig Nobel Nobel Prize for levitating a frog? You may remember him as a funny scientist, but in accordance with the title of this series, Science Never Ends, his story continues, this time with a focus on graphene. This time, he entered the scientific halls of ultimate glory. Have you ever heard of graphene? This wonder material is the lightest, strongest, thinnest material known to man, as well as the best heat and electricity conductor ever discovered. The list does not end there. A graphene-made plate, even one centimeter thick, could bear a five-ton elephant. A graphene-made battery can go from drained to fully charged in a single second. Andre Geim and Konstantin Novoselov were awarded the Nobel Prize in 2010 for isolating graphene from graphite. However, did you know they achieved this by tearing sticky scotch tape? This was a far more interesting feat than levitating a frog 10 years ago. Scientists searched for graphite for years, until finally, in 1916, the structure of graphite was clarified. While examining graphite, the researchers discovered some unexpected behavior displayed by extremely thin layers of graphite. Therefore, they tried to thin it down to a single atomic layer. The theory of one atomic layer graphite was initially proposed by P. R. Wallace in 1947, while the name graphene was first mentioned in 1987. For many years, scientists worked to isolate graphene, but all failed. Andre Geim was among these scientists. One of his students was asked to peel away more films from the graphite. After three weeks of effort, he obtained 10 micrometers graphite films with a buffing machine. Geim found this student always pasted scotch tape on the graphite before polishing to ensure a clean surface. An idea suddenly occurred to him, maybe there was a graphite film left on the tape as well. The observed results proved his hypothesis. And to his surprise, the film left on the tape was much thinner than that polished by his student. He folded the scotch tape in half and then opened it, and the film became thinner. Geim completed the operation repeatedly until eventually, the one atomic layer graphene appeared. The experimental device and operation are so simple that you may feel like the Nobel Prize slipped through your fingers. However, this is exactly how it happened. Graphene is a two-dimensional single layer of sp2 bonded carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. These carbon atoms are bonded at the length of 0.142 nanometers. In other words, graphene is a building block for all graphitic materials. Graphene possesses extraordinary properties, including specific strength and hardness, high thermal conductivity, high electrical conductivity, excellent flexibility, and biocompatibility. Due to its excellent performance in so many areas, it is referred to as a supermaterial or miracle material in the world of material science. Now, let us discuss the various applications of graphene. In biomedicine, graphene has multiple uses, and they can be classified into several main areas, drug delivery systems, sensors, tissue engineering, and biological agents. These unique properties allow graphene to be used in targeted drug delivery, improving brain penetration, DIY health testing kits, and smart implants. Graphene-based materials, including pristine graphene sheets, few-layer graphene flakes, and graphene oxide, offer a range of unique, versatile, and tunable properties that can be creatively utilized for biomedical applications. The lateral dimensions of these two-dimensional materials can be adjusted between nanometers and millimeters, their thickness can be tuned from single to hundreds of monolayers, and their flexural rigidity can also be modulated. The flat surface can be easily functionalized, enabling modification of the surface property. For instance, graphene oxide, produced by vigorous oxidation of graphite, is an ideal nanocarrier for efficient drug and gene delivery. The large, planar surface structure and enriched oxygen-containing groups provide biocompatibility and solubility, properties that are appropriate for delivering drugs within the body. 
Graphene presents great potential in the next generation of electronics, faster transistors, semiconductors, bendable phones, and other electronics. Graphene can be used as a coating to improve current touch screens for phones and tablets. It can also be used to construct the circuitry for computers, making them incredibly fast. Wearable products represent another promising direction for electrical devices. The extraordinary flexibility, electrical conductivity, and mechanical properties of graphene make it possible to create a smartphone that you could wear on your wrist or a tablet you could roll up like a newspaper. On the other hand, graphene's thinness and conductivity have furthered semiconductor research. At just one atom thick and with the ability to conduct electricity at room temperature, graphene semiconductors could replace existing technology for computer chips. Can you imagine your smartphone or electric car fully charging in several seconds? Graphene provides both incomparable advantages in charging and a longer lifespan for the battery. Batteries will be so flexible and light that they could be stitched into clothing. In the same way, graphene supercapacitors will reduce the weight of cars and aircraft by a huge margin. Graphene and sensors are a natural combination, as graphene has a large surface-to-volume ratio, unique optical properties, excellent electrical conductivity, high carrier mobility and density, high thermal conductivity, and many other attributes greatly beneficial for sensor functions. The large surface area of graphene can enhance the surface loading of desired biomolecules, and excellent conductivity and a small band gap are beneficial for conducting electrons between biomolecules and the electrode surface. Graphene will enable sensors that are smaller and lighter, providing endless design possibilities. They will also be more sensitive and capable of detecting smaller changes in matter, will work more quickly, and will eventually be less expensive than traditional sensors.